So is it the end of the Bofors controversy? Has the Bofors ghost finally been buried? Let's get straight into the debate with Abhishek Singhvi and Arun Jaitley. Abhishek Singhvi, to you first. Uh, this, some would say, is quite an extraordinary development that there is an accused that the CBI has pursued for over a decade and because the CBI has failed to, to make a case against Otavio Quattrochi, basically the CBI decides to withdraw all its cases. What does the Congress make of this? It is not extraordinary, Barkha. It is ultimately a considered decision by the investigative prosecuting agency. It is not 10 years. It is from 86 to 2004 prior to these two sessions of the UPA government. In those 22 odd years, uh, in those 18 odd years, 10 years were non-Congress governments. None of them could find anything. Mr. S.K. Patnagar died. Mr. Vin Chadda died. Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, of course, died, but he was found absolutely to have nothing to do with the case. There were four rounds of judgments, very important. In February 2004, there was a detailed judgment by High Court of Delhi quashing the entire prevention of corruption charges. No appeal was filed by the NDA government, which had prosecuted that case and lost it in the High Court for over four months. Remember, the new government came in after four and a half months in May 2004. The NDA could easily have filed it. They but knew there was no merit. The NDA. We'll file come to the NDA, Abhishek Singhvi. Why Malaysia. don't you explain no, the Congress's own decision? At the government's own I'll decision. tell you, the Congress's, the Congress's decision today is a culmination of all these factors that nobody has found anything. In December 08, the then Attorney General gave a clear, detailed opinion that there is no cause for continuing with Bofors because it's just a waste of public money. Okay. In Malaysia, the NDA government again tried to nab the same Quatroki. They lost in four courts by reasoned orders. In four courts in Malaysia, trial okay. court, high court, court of appeal, federal court. Okay. One minute more, half a minute more. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, Justice Sodi in 2005 completely acquitted the Hindujas. No appeal was filed against that either. Now the only proceeding is a Supreme Court proceeding by a so-called public interest litigant. I am asking a simple question. Let us assume that we are wrong. We are upfront. We are transparent. We are telling the Supreme Court that there is nothing there which is worth prosecuting and we are therefore thinking of closing the case. Okay, if anybody has an objection, they have both the Supreme Court to go to, but more importantly, they have the trial court to go to, which is the trial court which is dealing with the closure or non-closure of the matter. Because closure is not an absolute decision, which is conclusive. Uh, all right. Abhishek, so if they have merits and if they want to test their merits, they should find it out there. All right. Some legitimate points there. Let me take them to Arun Jaitley. Arun Jaitley, Abhishek Singhvi makes the argument that 10 years uh, have in fact been non-Congress governments. So the BJP can't quite argue that this is a Congress conspiracy to let Kothroki walk free. Well, I'm afraid, Barkha, I thought you were not as innocent as Abhishek Singhvi is with regard to the facts of this case.